greetings everyone. So again, we're continuing forward with our merchandise inventory series. And in this video, this very short video, we're going to be talking about the lower of cost or market rule. Now, you've all been told or taught that we always record assets at cost, whatever we pay for them. That's what they are kept on the books at until they're sold. Well, inventory is a little bit uh, different than that. Um, when we're following the lower cost of market rule. That means we're going to keep inventory on the books at the lower of cost or market, meaning the lower of cost, what we paid for it, or market, whatever we could replace that in inventory for. So whichever is lower, that's what we need to be recording the inventory at on the books. That's what the balance on the books needs to be. So let's look at an example. Here we have Natural Foods reports inventory at the lower of cost or market. Prior to releasing its December 2012 financial statements, Natural's preliminary income statement before the year-end adjustments appears as follows. We have our sales revenue, our cost of goods sold, which is currently $49,000, and our gross profit. So Natural has determined that the replacement cost, which is also the market value, of ending inventory is $20,000, but we actually paid $21,000 for it. If there, is an, if there is a journal entry needed, we need to make it now. Well, remember, we're going to keep inventory on the books at the lower of the cost or market. If cost is lower than the market value, then we don't need to do anything. But if the market value is less than what we paid for it, which is what we would currently have it on the books at, then we need an adjustment. So in this case, because the replacement value or the market value is $1,000 less than what we've got our inventory currently at on the books, which is what we paid for it, $21,000, we need to make an adjustment. And the way that would look is it's really the cost piece of a sales journal entry. So remember when you make a sale, there's always two journal entries. One is to record the revenue and one is to record the cost and reduce your inventory. Well, this is going to be basically the second piece of that, in, of that sales entry combination. We're going to debit cost of goods sold for that $1,000. So we're increasing our cost just if we had sold it, for example. And we're reducing the value of our inventory on our books by $1,000. So now we've got our inventory at the lower of cost or market, which is currently the market value. So now that we've made this journal entry, it's actually going to affect our income statement that we see here. It's actually going to increase our cost of goods sold by $1,000. So we would actually recreate our income statement. So we'd have our sales revenue at $120,000. That was not affected. But our cost of goods sold actually increased by $1,000. So now our cost of goods sold is $50,000, bringing us to our new gross profit of $70,000. And that is how the lower of cost or market rule works. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and questions and comments are always welcome.